Welcome to Next Steps in Reading Instruction. Today's lesson in Sound Symbol Correspondence will focus on voiced and unvoiced letter sounds. Being able to identify voiced and unvoiced sounds will help students differentiate between consonant pairs that are made in the same place of the mouth and also sets the foundation for the knowledge that all vowel sounds are voiced and every syllable contains a voiced vowel sound. For materials, you will need alphabet cards and the voice on, voice off icons, all of which can be printed from the lesson plan. In addition, this lesson supports the use of a sound wall displayed for student use in the classroom. To begin the lesson, decide on which letter sounds you will use to demonstrate that sounds are either voice on or voice off. Start off by modeling a letter sound and asking the student to repeat that sound. Ask the student to place his or her hand on their throat to feel for vibration. Introduce the voice on icon and ask the student to describe that icon. Repeat the same process for introducing a voice off sound. Provide additional voice on and voice off sounds for the student to practice with. Encourage the student to feel his or her throat for vibration with each new sound. So today we are going to think about um, the different sounds that we make in our mm -hmm. mouth when we speak, right? Okay. okay. So um, some sounds are voice on sounds mm -hmm. and some sounds are voice off, off sounds. Very good. Um, we're going to feel our throats to see if they are a voice on sound or a voice mm -hmm. off sound. Mm -hmm. Because when you, it's a voice on sound, what can you feel in your throat? Peanut butter. It's a little buzz, that's right, like a vibration in your throat. So let's first feel if our voice is on or off. So can you put your hand here on your throat? Can you say the sound, mm? Mm. Do you feel a little buzz or a little vibration? So is that would that be a voice off sound or a voice on sound? Mm. Very good, awesome. Um, let's try one more. Can you... Explicitly teaching this additional characteristic of letter sounds helps strengthen the sound symbol correspondences that are being taught in the classroom and draws students' attention to the way sounds feel when they are produced. Very good. Now let's look at this. What do you notice about these lines that are coming out of the mouth here? Uh, They're just kind of curved. curved, right? What do you notice about the voice on lines? They're kind of like up and down. And it looks like they're making noise. Mm -hmm. Right? The volume. I like that you use that word. That is awesome. Very good. Okay, now we're going to look at some letter pairs. Okay? For further practice, give students more sounds to identify as voice on or voice off. Make additional connections by incorporating alphabet cards that reinforce the letter name, keyword, and sound of letters you are teaching. Oh, let's do this one. What letter is this? P. What's this? P. Now put your, put your hand here. Ready? Do Ooh, but that one is voice off, so they're very similar, right? But we notice the b is voice on and the p is voice off. Nice job. All right, let's do another one. Ready? What letter is this? 